Hi, welcome to the 10th tutorial on creating a virtual cluster using Scientific Linux and Oracle VirtualBox. In this tutorial we're going to set up the torque nodes for the torque server we set up in the previous uh, tutorial. If you remember in the previous video we created a install package on the head node. So just SSH into node 1 and then change directory into the torque folder. Now we want to execute those uh, sorry, if you do an ls, you'll see these uh, few packages that created. So we, we want to execute clients and mom. So to execute these, just dot slash torque dash package dash uh, mom dash linux dash x86 underscore 64 dot sh uh, space minus minus install. Then we do the same for the clients package and just run that one and it's done okay so next up we need to configure the libraries that Torque uses when it runs so just echo uh, slash usr slash local slash lib into slash etc slash ld dot so dot conf dot d slash torque dot conf Once the echo is done, just do an LD config and the libraries are set up. Now we just need to copy the servers service files over to the computer again. So just cp contrib slash init dot d slash pbs underscore mom uh, just pbs underscore mom to slash etc slash init dot d slash the name is already correct. So we need to do the same for the torque auth service again. So TRQ AU THD and then just check config the services uh, to have them boot on server well to have them run on server boot. So now we just need to start the torque auth service so we can start configuring the PBS mom service. So service Torque auth start. Now you'll see that this one failed uh, on my computer. It might have worked on yours. Mine failed because I made a typo in the host name when I s installed the computer. So that's just test cluster instead of testcluster.com. So to fix this, we just host name node01.testcluster.com and let that execute. And if we start the torque auth service again, it works. Now the way I just set those name will uh, revert to the wrong one again once the machine is rebooted. So to fix this we just vim slash etc slash sysconfig slash network. Now that shows a hostname line so we just fix it in there and write and quit. The next step is to tell the PBS mom service where the PBS server is. To do this we echo a certain variable with the master node's hostname into a config file. So echo uh, apostrophe dollar pbs server master. Now master should be your domain name for your um, torque server. So echo that into slash var slash spool slash torque slash mom underscore priv slash config okay next one we want to log certain events so we will echo uh, apostrophe dollar log event 225 225 is just the code of certain events that will be logged uh, into note the double larger than sign I'm using this means it appends a new line to the to the file we already created and that uh, we will then append it to the same file that we echoed into a, a bit earlier 
then the last option we need to add is echo apostrophe dollar user cp space star colon slash home slash home um, and then colon and we just append it into the same folder again well same file again sorry and that is everything that we need to set up for the first node so let's just start the service so service pbs underscore mom start and it's running you'll see that it gives an error about the user cp command now i think that this was deprecated in this or the previous version because it actually used to work on the torque i was using well it's not very important so let's just do the exact same thing for node 0 2 now now i'm just going to copy these lines from a script I have to drive open. So just change into the torque folder, then run the setup scripts, the first one, run the second install script, echo the library ld config thingy, and then execute ld config, copy the service files into slash etc slash init.d and then check config the services so that it runs when the server boots then start the torq auth service and this time my host name is typed correctly next up is echo the variables into the uh, var spool torque mom dot prev config file and then start the mom service and that should be everything so if you do a pbs nodes command on the head node you will see these two nodes in the com in the response so it's node 01 dot test cluster dot com it shows np equals to and properties equals gmp for the first node uh, if you remember correctly, we said NP equals 2 is the number of processors and properties equals GMP. Okay, it also shows state equals free. Uh, we, that means that this node has at least one core that isn't being used by a process at the moment. So now that the services are running, we're just going to tail um, and follow a s the log slash messages uh, file and you'll see a lot of these errors saying it cannot send the hierarchy to node 01, node 02 and to fix this is just a simple IP tables rule that we have to add. Ah, oh, there's a new one. So just control C that file uh, not right quit, just control C. Now we just need to add a few simple lines to the IP tables configuration file so just vim slash etc slash sysconfig slash uh, no not network IP tables so it's slash etc slash sysconfig slash IP tables now in these rules I added for the DNS service my IP range is completely wrong I don't even know how these rules work or how my DNS service works at all these are this range should be 11.0.0.0 slash 24 well slash, slash 16 will work as well but yeah I'm not too impressed with that working at all so the lines we need to add is uh, just a line to allow all TCP and UDP in and out communication on all ports now that will actually render those top two lines completely useless so just minus a input minus s 11.0.0.0 slash 24 minus p tcp minus j except uh, note that there's no port specified so this allows all communica communication over all ports uh, for the internal network Okay, so just copy that line and uh, change the protocol to UDP and then copy both lines and change the input to output. 
just output and then change those inputs just to capital letter inputs and that should be fine now we need to add those four lines to both compute nodes as well so just restart the IP tables on the head node and SSH into each node okay so just vim slash etc slash sysconfig IP tables go to input and just copy and paste those four lines into this uh, IP tables configuration as well and right quit and restart the IP table service okay and then the same for node 2 uh, no, not restart. First edit the file, then restart. Okay, so just save. And service net IP tables restart. So now exit. If we tell that file again, you'll see that the uh, error messages have stopped. So you can sit and watch that file for a few minutes and you won't get that you shouldn't get that message anymore okay as you can see no new me no new error messages let's just leave this file open for a few seconds and uh, make sure that it's it's actually working correctly if those IP rules are working correctly you wouldn't be seeing any new errors or any of the previous errors for running an MPI job either so it seems to be working correctly uh, to see the queue information, like what jobs are running, how many cores they are using, how long they've been running, and which users are running cores, uh, are running jobs, just execute a qstat-a command. qstat works as well. I just prefer the output of qstat-a. Um, so let's just execute a test job uh, to get something in the queue so I can show you how it looks like. So echo uh, apostrophe sleep 30 apostrophe uh, and pipe that into QSub. QSub is the program used to submit queues, uh, submit jobs to the queue. You'll see the queue, the QSub cannot be run as root. This means that root users cannot submit jobs to the queue. The only way around this is to create a new user. So I'm just going to user add me on all the nodes. So just SSH into new. Uh, node 01 and user add me and then node 2 user add me as well so now switch user to me now we have to create the this SS, SSH things again so if you remember correctly it's just SSH dash keygen and then just print, press enter for all these uh, prompts that it pops up now we have to change directory into the .ssh folder uh, actually just change directory for to your home dot directory first and then cd .ssh. so cp id underscore rsa dot pub into authorized keys okay now you will need to ssh into the nodes one by one and make sure that that prompt isn't uh, there anymore uh, that should be node 0 2 and then SSH into the head node as well so just SSH master exit exit okay so now we can just echo sleep 30 uh, into QSub uh, sleep 30 is just a command to make the computer do absolutely nothing th for 30 seconds so if you just echo that you'll get an I a job ID so use that and you'll see the 0.master as the job ID name is standard in, user is me and then the time used S is status, it's running and Q is batch, batch is just the default uh, Q created by the setup script now the status for R is running Q is it's in the queue. E means it's it's uh, 
given an error and C means it's complete. So let's just watch QStat and you'll see it gives an E. Uh, this standard in job usually gives an error when it's done so it's nothing to worry about. Let's just echo it again and then watch the QStat. Uh, you'll see that the time running now is incrementing slowly all the way up to 30. When it reaches 30 the status will change to uh, E for a few seconds and then it will change to C. Completed jobs usually stay in the queue for a few minutes but it depends on your queue configuration. It can be anything from 3 seconds to 10-20 hours. Okay so 30 seconds is done it's now showing E and any second now it's going to, oh, there we go, it's changed to C, so now the job is complete. Well, now that you have a working torque, in the next tutorial I will show you how to configure and run MPI and HPL over torque. Thank you for watching.